Hello everyone. Welcome to another installment of Erin's Book Club. I have a book review to do today. Um, and it's it's way outside of my comfort zone and it has taught me a few things. Um, so the book review I have to do today is The Amazing World of Superman. This is a hardcover book um, that was sent to me by mistake by Amazon. And when I tried to send it back they wouldn't send me anyway it's this is the reason why i canceled my account from amazon this is the reason why i will not order from amazon anymore so i thought i might as well read it since it was sent to me and it's actually a lovely book it's it's this hardcover and then it's got um information on how uh the cartoon or not cartoons but how the graphic novels are made um and there's also like an actual comics in the in the book there's a comic on how superman came to be down to earth there's information on the history of superman the making of superman um really a well put together book the problem is i've come to the conclusion that i don't like superman i am not a superman fan mostly because this was written back in the day where um women were thought of as less than men and women were women and young female children were trained differently than men um and it it's it's obvious in the book all of the good female characters are these thin perfect beautiful women um there was actually a, a scene that got to me um where the main characters were going to a wax museum and there was a wax museum of the girlfriend lois lane of um, Superman and the wax figure was super thin but Lois Lane thought that the wax figure looked too big and she should go on a diet just that kind of thing and and the comics were written in such a way where a big deal was really made out of nothing kind of thing I just I don't think I enjoyed it specifically because of the subject matter I the book was put together well it was a nice book it would be a very nice collector's item for somebody and I may keep it as a collector's item but it has taught me that I am not a Superman fan but I will let you know when I have another book read. 